This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Aim training range in Pageland, South Carolina. I have my Inglis High Power made by the John Inglis Company in Toronto, Canada. It's in mint, unfired condition. One of the things about the Canadian High Powers is instead of a 13 round magazine, the magazine actually held 14 rounds. All right, as you can see, lanyard loop right there, very common with World War II era handguns. You gotta be careful with the ring hammer because what can happen is if you have large hands, the flesh can come up and actually get pinched between the tang of the frame and the ring hammer. The rear sight is machined as part of the slide, which means elevation and windage adjustments had to be done entirely on the front sight. The front sight is more of a diamond shape. The rear sight has a square notch and actually sounds funky, but it gives you a fairly decent sight picture. In addition, high powers of this era have an internal extractor instead of an external extractor that high powers had later after the war, which was a revised design by Fabrique Nationale in Belgium. Notice the little thumb cut right there, so when you bring the slide to the rear, this allows you to get your thumb to disassemble the gun with the slide release by pushing it out the side. All right, time to go hot for the first time ever with my English high power. things you need to understand about pistols like this is the thumb safety was intended to make the gun safe after the soldier brought it out of his holster, racked around in the chamber because he was carrying it condition three, hammer down, empty chamber, loaded magazine in place. Now he's done shooting Germans, right? He needs to make the gun safe. All he's got to do is push that up and he can reholster and the gun's good to go. Okay, gun runs dry. Now, magazine release, you hit, it doesn't drop all the way out. It has a magazine disconnect safety, all right, which also acts as a spring-loaded plunger that retains the magazine. So what you gotta do is grab the gun, magazine, and pull it out. I enjoyed shooting this high power for you for the first time ever and I want to thank my good friend and mentor Ken Hackathorn for turning me on to this because Lord knows I've certainly followed up this English high power with many many other CNR handguns and rifles. As always stay safe we'll see you at the range or make sure you subscribe to the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. LAV out. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.